Yes, guys, that's right. The title hasn't lied. It's yet another trip to the thrift, yet another Thursday. Always my favorite day of the week. I love taking the camera out and bringing you guys along for the ride and showing you what I pick up on a day of thrifting. If you're here for the first time, I'm talking all things online reselling, three videos every single week. Go ahead, hit that subscribe. Give this video a like as well if you're into reselling by any means. I've already been into the first op shop of the day, guys. I've jumped the gun and I'll show you what I picked up already. We're gonna get off to op shop number two pretty soon, but I did just wanna show you these quick couple of finds. I only bought four items. It was a very short, sharp run, but I really like this shirt that I was able to pick up. Now, this one was the brand actually that caught my eye because it was a brand that I actually hadn't heard of before and I did some comp research. There it is there, Tory Richards Honolulu. Guys, this is actually a brand to look out for. The comps were very good for this one. If you haven't heard of the brand, definitely keep it on your uh, bolo list. I was really happy to see it. I also really liked the, um, the pattern to this one as well. That caught my eye before the label did. So I've picked this one up and the comps were telling me about $30. I think I paid about seven bucks for that, but a really nice cotton, really nice pattern. Uh, no marks or damages on it whatsoever, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed the Queen CD as well. This is just the greatest hits too. I always look in the CDs every now and again because you only pay generally one or two dollars. And this one was telling me it was worth about 15 to 20 bucks. So off a two dollar investment, happy days. Really happy to pick that one up. Queen, obviously a great artist. Look for your old school artists, um, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s. They generally, you know, bring up some pretty good pricing on, on the comps. And um, to find this one in the Queen our, our CD was a good find. Uh, I also found two pairs of women's tights as well. Tights are a really fast seller for me on eBay. I always search for the women's tights in, in really any particular major sports brand um, or active wear brand. And these ones were a pair of just plain uh, black, uh, I think they're sort of three quarter length um, pants and uh, they're Adidas branded Climalite. They are the Response Climalite size eights. So a very nice pair of women's tights. They're gonna go super fast, they always do. Three quarter length uh, sells pretty well for me and a size eight should move pretty fast too. Found the Nikes as well, Nike tights, cool pattern on the top there. Uh, just a really plain, um, I think these are more a seven and eight, a seven eights. Uh, size, but uh, again, I've paid another five bucks for that. These are a size small. Uh, they, again, should sell really quick and really fast uh, on eBay. So, bought a couple of the pairs of the women's tights, bought that really nice shirt, Tory Richards, look out for it, and I got the Queen CD as well. Paid 19 bucks, so we're off to a good start. We're going to move off to op shop number two. Uh, give this video a like and a subscribe if you're getting any value out of it whatsoever. Um, hopefully, we find some gold in the second one. Let's move on. shop of the day all wrapped up i couldn't actually remember why i never used to go to this op shop and then when i walked into the store i realized why i never did and there was a designer section of their clothing range so basically the staff are picking out the best brands and putting it in a certain pocket of the store and they're pricing up all of their items so any kind of brand name that you'd want to get your hands on in this store they've got it marked at ten dollars plus so Unfortunately, I couldn't really strike in any of the clothing, but I did spend some time in there looking in all the other different categories because I really like to make sure I spread across the entire op shop and check everything out because I think it's important if you know your different niche categories and you know your different areas where you can make some money, um, just because clothing or shoes might be overpriced doesn't mean there are other parts of the store are overpriced as well. And the point was proved by a couple of finds. Um, the first one was these feeler shoes. Uh, I've bought one of these in the past and just the comps tell me that they are a very good buy. I've only paid $7 here for those, so it's a really cheap price. These, while they do look a bit dirty, they're gonna clean up very, very well. 
and they are a bit of a trendy shoe. They are being bought and the comps on eBay are around the sort of 20 to $40 mark. So I'm gonna shoot for the stars and go $40 free postage on these and try and get 30 bucks for them. Um, might even go a little bit more because they are they are some pretty cool shoes. So the Feeler shoe brand, kind of like that, that's something to look out for. They do sell pretty well and they are in fashion at the moment. And then the other one as well was in the CD rack. I managed to find the Lion King special edition double pack for $2 and this one comped pretty well as well. So I had to grab that. When you see the Lion King, uh, anything sort of Disney, obviously it's gonna be a win and the comps were certainly telling me that. I always put the comps up here guys, so check those out as we go along. But guys, it was just the two items in that one. I bought four in the first op shop. I've only bought two in the second op shop. So it's very much slim pickings, but I'm making sure that I'm not really buying everything and I'm just trying to buy quality. Um, because I want to make sure that what I buy goes on to sell in a relatively quick space of time And I don't like stuff to sit around for too long So I think everything I bought today so far should move pretty quick I'm pretty happy with the six that I've bought so far But I really want to get a move on because I do want to buy a, a few items I had a look and I've only I think I've only bought about 120 items so far this month So it's been a very low sourcing month. So days like today are very very important um, so fingers crossed the next op shop can have a few items that I can grab because I certainly need them. Third time lucky guys, third time lucky. I've got a feeling about this one. Op shop number three, all wrapped up, guys. I managed to find the Jordans. The minute I walked in, I went straight to the shoes and I found the Jordans. And whenever you find these, grab them, guys. That will clean up really well. Don't worry about that. This will. Also, this is already in really good condition, to be fair. It's just the soles that I've got to work on. So uh, really happy to find the Jordans. These are the Rising Highs uh, 2015 shoe. They are a size 11 as well, which is going to help my cause. Uh, I've paid just $5 for them. $5 Jordans in the thrift. I'm stoked with that. I'm going to try and list these up for $60 free postage, guys. So a really good flip there. I'm probably going to make around about $50, maybe $40. Uh, but if you do find the Jordans, get your hands on them because that's always going to be a win. I found the uh, that booklet as well. I found the Minecraft booklet. So this was a complete booklet series. Um, I found the game actually just yesterday in an op shop uh, for $30 comping on eBay. This also comps for $30 on eBay. Uh, so I know with the level of attention that that game's already got that this is going to move just as quick as well. So everyone's in the market for Minecraft. It seems to be a very popular game. And this handbook is probably just more of a collector's piece for those that are into the game. Um, so happy to get my hands on that. That's just a, a fun one to find for $5. Uh, should make an easy 30 on that, I would say, on eBay. And then I found the jerseys as well. Now, with the jerseys, these are no means real by any means. They're a good fake. Um, this one's even got the tags on it as well. It was probably bought in Thailand or Bali or something like that. Um, it's got Neymar Jr. on the back as well. I put these onto Facebook Marketplace. I don't like to go on eBay because I don't want any authenticity claims or anything like that. But I try and flip them for 20 to $25 and I buy them like today for five bucks. So I've got the Barcelona. Uh, I've got the Chelsea jersey as well, which is a great find, a really good um, soccer club in England. Uh, so the Chelsea jersey should go for 20 25 And then I also found the uh, Juve as well, the Juventus jersey too. So no, no, no real or, or genuine um, you know, feel about these jerseys by any means. But again, 20 to $25. If I make 75 bucks out of those three, that's going to be a really good flip on a $15 purchase for the lot. So 25 bucks spent, five items, $5 for each item. I'm pretty happy with that as a bit of a takeaway because that's got us up to about 11 items now. And I generally... 
on a Thursday end up with about 30. So we're still well unders after doing three op shops. I've been really picky about which ones I've been picking up today, but I think that's a good thing. I don't think you should be buying just anything willy-nilly. You should be really making sure you're picking the right items. So I'm gonna jump into the next one, op shop number four. Because I'm a bit low on stock, I'm gonna do five today. So I'm gonna go into this one now and then we'll do one more to finish the day. So still plenty of opportunity to find some gold. Let's keep going, op shop number four. Hope you're into it. There were a few little goodies in that one. I was pretty happy with what I was able to find. Um, I did find a Bob Dylan CD. So again, guys, just like the other one we had earlier today, it's a $15, maybe a $20 sale for this one. Um, did my comps on a few in there, but this proved just to be the best of the bunch. Now it was only $2 uh, spent and the CD comp well. So I bought it. Always pay a bit of attention in, to the CDs. Uh, when you're in there. But the big one today in this op shop was the King G workwear. Guys, this workwear is premium quality. These shirts cost about $50 new. To be honest, I reckon I could list these up. I've got two of them. I reckon I can list them as new, really, because I don't think they've been worn from the looks of them. They're in very, very good condition. They are just your plain standard workwear, but they're just the quality of them and the brand. Uh, they do sell very well, and the comps were talking to me on eBay. So I only paid $6 each for these, uh, 12 bucks for the two. They should flip into about 35, I would think, each. So maybe about 70 bucks worth of value there. And then not only did I find the shirts, but I also found a pair of King G shorts as well. And these shorts, again, just like the shirts, they go for about 50 bucks new. So I think I should be able to get about $35. These are probably, these have been worn a little bit more than what the shirts have. So I don't know, maybe $35 free postage, something like that is what I'm thinking for these. And I only paid, uh, what did I pay? Oh, they ripped the tags off. I think I paid about six or $7 again for that one as well. So some really good profit there. Uh, so the two shirts, the shorts, uh, the CD, and then the fifth item in this op shop was the board game. Now, I love to collect Monopoly board games. Some are worth more than others, but this one was the NRL. This is the Rugby League, uh, one of the major sporting codes over here in Australia. And um, this one was comping up brand new, again, for $50. So I had to say yes to this one. I've paid nine bucks. Uh, a really cool uh, alternative version of Monopoly. The alternative versions of Monopoly always seem to comp a little bit better than obviously the stock standard version. Um, so when I saw this out of all the board games, which there were quite a few in that store, uh, this one was the best one. So I'm thinking if they're comping for about 50 bucks new, I'm gonna go for about 35 again for this item and, and hopefully get that. Now I paid nine, so again, I'm looking at about $20 worth of profit at the end of the day, I reckon for this board game. So. Another five items there. I think we're up to about 16 items for the day now. So we're still under what we normally do on a Thursday. Uh, I'm going to do one more op shop, guys, because I'm, I'm enjoying the slow build to this day. We've, we're starting to collate a few good items here, and I'm really excited to get these onto eBay and hopefully make a few quick dollars as well. So uh, you want to be sourcing everything. You want to be listing everything right now because we're only a couple of weeks away from Christmas. So it's a very, very important sourcing time. Uh, I just hope I'm buying the right stuff. But um, let's get into the next op shop. We'll make it the last op shop for the day. We've got 16 items. Let's get at least 20. I wanna try and find and dig my way through to find four great items to end the day and have 20 quality items to put up on Facebook Marketplace over the next few days. So let's get into it. Op shop number five, best of luck to me. Fingers crossed.
Fifth and final op shop done. I tried so hard to push for that 20th item, but I could only come away with three at the end of the day. So 19 items is what we finished up on, but I really do think that the best was left for last. I managed to find this 1986 plush ALF toy. Now guys, this one here, I think I showed the tags on it on video. Is 1986, so we're talking a 34 year old plush toy. You're not going to see it there, but you would have seen it earlier. The only damage that I can see to him that is he is a bit toothless, uh, just here. So I reckon I might be able to stitch him up there, but he will be losing a tooth, which isn't great. But that's just an awesome find for a dollar because the comps they are really, really good. So we're looking at maybe 50, 60, 70 dollars given the damage to his tooth. Um, but all in all, that's just a ripping find for a buck. Uh, so that was a good one. And then I found two shirts as well. RM Williams shirt. Whenever you see the brand RM Williams, guys, you know what to do. Make sure you buy it. So I've got the RM Williams. That looks in very good condition to me. Uh, the comps were very good for those. I was never going to say no to that. And I also found a 100% linen Tommy Bahama as well. I've paid $7.50 each, guys. Two shirts came to $15 for these, plus the plush. It was a $16 spend in that last op shop. Um, but yeah, 10 bucks, Tommy Bahama, 100% linen. That's a really nice shirt. That should go for about 30 bucks, I'd say, on eBay. Great brand to get your hands on. Uh, so the really cool vintage plush, the RM Williams, Tommy Bahama, to end the day, items number 17, 18, and 19. You don't always find treasure by the truckload, guys. It's really a matter of sifting through as much as you can without taking up as much of your day either because... One thing that I really pay attention to is how much I'm devoting to certain things. I don't want to get lost in one activity. So if it's sourcing, I don't want to end up spending eight hours out there sourcing. I really want to try and limit my time, really try and condense my time and make it the most effective. I do that by trying to pick up shops that are really close to each other so I'm not having to travel very far. Um, I also don't like to go too far from home as well. So I do try to stick to my same op shops you know, close by my place. Um, because I'm very wary of time. There's so much to do when you're a full-time reseller that you can't get caught doing your favorite things. Um, so look, to be able to still have got five op shops in, it's now 1.30. Normally I'd like to have this done by about 12 o'clock. So it's been a really big sourcing day, probably a little bit longer than what I'd like it to have been, but that was because we were limited in what stock I was able to purchase. But guys, five op shops, 19 items. At the end of the day, it's not the worst case scenario. I've still got plenty of good stuff that will sell for a whole lot more than I paid for it, which is the goal at the end of the day. That will do me, guys. I've done the five. I've got the 19 items. Hopefully, you've enjoyed those. Uh, let me know what your most, or let me know what your favorite sourced item this week is. What have you found this week and what did you pay and what do you think you might be able to go and sell it for? Because I always love to find, find out what people are, uh, are finding out in the op shops themselves. As much as I like to deliver what I'm finding, I also love to find out what you guys are up to as well. So please put it in the comments below and please give the video a like as always if you haven't done so yet already because that really, really does help. Um, that's it. I'm all done. Another one done. Op shop, done. I can't do any more. Um, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next episode, which will be... I'm actually thinking I'm going to go and do a car boot um, and a garage sale Saturday-Sunday combo a bit like uh, about two weeks ago. So... If you're into that, let me know. I can do a garage sale again, or I can do a what's sold. Let me know. I'm thinking it's going to be garage sale. But anyway, I'm done. I'm rambling. All right, speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.